just introduce Leslie So, who I've known for a very long time, and I'm very happy to have her speaker tonight. Um, Leslie is a Parisian trained chef who began her own catering company more than 20 years ago in Vancouver. She then opened Leslie So Fine Foods, offering customers a wide range of gourmet foods and house made entrees. I often visit her to pick up delicious food to take home for my dinner. In 1990, Leslie started selling her dessert creations to the city's top restaurants and became known for her decadent death by chocolate production. She then created her Raincoast Crisps snack food, which has literally taken North America by storm, as she currently supplies stores all over Canada and the US. Leslie is also the author of her own cookbook, the Leslie So Fine Foods Cookbook. She has also contributed to other popular cookbooks, including the Girls Who Dish series. Please join me in welcoming Leslie Stowe. Firstly, I would like to thank Richard for making this event happen. I have concluded that Richard is the most influential food and wine person in Vancouver, as he's managed to bring together this uh, group of very successful entrepreneurs um, on their night off when they don't have a lot of free time. He's obviously extremely good at twisting people's arms. <laughs> I feel very fortunate for many reasons to be in the food industry in Vancouver. If it doesn't kill you, it will definitely make you stronger. Vancouver is a city of foodies looking for the newest, greatest, artisanal, local, organic, free trade, most innovative, and will loyally support those discoveries that stay true to what they preach. 20 years of hard work for overnight success. 20 years of hard work for overnight success. This is how my brother defines me. I can see the other panelists in the room smirking. As we all know, the only industry you can have overnight success in is in the IT business. And we only hear about the ones that really make it. In the food and beverage industry, you have, you have to continually reinvent yourself. And I certainly have that thread of food always present. From chef to caterer, to author, to retailer, sometimes dishwasher, and most recently on that overnight success flight to finally land on the planet of manufacturing. All that so after 20 years I've known as the cracker queen. <laughs> but it has been this journey that is the Rainless Chris story. From a cracker we developed for our catering menus that we decided to package and sell in our own storefront originally known as the Bird Seed Crisp, but we thought that name maybe it's going to appeal to more unusual creatures, though I know that they love them too. Uh, to becoming the sole focus of our business. There are amongst many other things, three words that I believe are key here, and the trailblazers in the room would agree. Passion. Without passion in the food business, you will never get ahead. It has to be pushing, pulsing through your veins, keeping you up at night, and driving you every day. Do you think that Shannon and Imad would still be opening up new restaurants if they weren't passionate about what they do 24-7? Innovation in service and in products. It is a very competitive world out there, and as Stephen Jobs once put it, the market doesn't know what it wants until it sees it, tries it, and then we all have a very definite opinion and desire for it or not. As one of the product innovators at Loblaws recently told me, when we first came out with the Raincoast Crisp, we created a new category in the grocery world of crackers, and now everyone else has to have their own version of it. Risk. You have to be willing to put yourself and your money on the line. When I decided to take a leap of faith and cash in all my RSPs, give away my catering operation, close the store, <laughs> and business plan in hand, solicit the banks for matching funds, I was turned down several times. Unless, of course, I was willing to have my father or my husband co-sign a loan. That was not in my plans. I have to say that HSBC came to my rescue, and they were willing to give me more than I was asking for. Today, I have banks knocking at my door for my business. I'm sure Steve and Mike had their hearts in their throats many times on their journey to opening up this spectacular facility, Vancouver Urban Winery. Every day I go to our bakery and I'm thrilled to be working with a team that are passionate about what we are doing and are greeted daily by emails and calls from people across North America who have just discovered us 
or invented a new way to eat the raincoat's crisps and share it with us. My favorite was making a caramel ice cream sandwich with a salty date crisp dipped in dark chocolate. Our job is to make you look good. You the distributor, you the retailer, you the consumer. You know the difference and want to treat yourself and your friends the best. In this world of economic uncertainty, great food and beverages are our last bastion. And the enjoyment of sharing that with family and friends is what brings us together. So keep the crispy conversation going, never compromise on quality, and remember, my favorite line with our team, if you aren't moving forward, you are moving backwards.